Hi, in today's video I want to answer a question. Can a person with Down syndrome have a normal child? If yes, what is the probability? And um, here uh, I want to increase this picture. Uh, as you see, there is distinctive uh, features that you can judge that this person has a Down syndrome. Um, Down syndrome, first of all, this is metal retardation and um, uh, neck is thicker than normal and there is uh, uh, fol folders of the skin under the eyes and boldness and uh, some other phenotypically expressed features. And uh, what caused this um, genetic disorder? is a uh, chromosome trisomy of the chromosome number 20, uh, 21. So as you see, all the chromosomes here are present in pairs, like 1, 2, 3, 4, everything goes in pairs, but chromosome 21 goes in three copies. And this is um, what causes Down syndrome. And as you see, um, uh, chromosome 23 is paired, but uh, actually it's not homologous uh, chromosomes, only um, just some fragments on this both uh, chromosomes are uh, homologous, and we see that th there is X chromosome and Y chromosome, so this is karyotype of the uh, male. So um, now um, I want to show uh, how to solve this uh, problem. You can um, stop uh, video here and try to solve on your own uh, this problem and then compare uh, your solution with my explanation. So, um, first of all, we have to find uh, what is the probability for the person, for example, male or female, it doesn't matter, uh, have normal gametes. Uh, meaning, uh, for the female it is uh, egg, X, egg cell, and for the male uh, sperm. Uh, I want to draw just a fragment um, of the chromosomes in the cell uh, at the um, meiosis 2 when um, sister chromatids are present in pairs. I, I wouldn't draw all uh, 23 pairs, just let me, uh, for example, this would be chromosome number 20, 21, and 22. Just a representation what's going on. And this is meiosis 2, and all uh, uh, chromosomes, here is uh, this chromosomes uh, presented as sister chromatids um, connected to each other with kinetochore center and chromosome number 21 are present in three copies so I will add one extra copy and um, uh, microtubules pulling these uh, chromosomes to two uh, opposite sides of the cell and what is the probability that, say, on the right side, um, we will have, um, um, let, okay, let me draw here, let's us assume that this is going to be where two um, cells would separate and form two daughter cells like one on the left and one on the right. So what is the probability? Uh, it's very well understood what's going with, on with uh, chromosome number 20 or 22. Um, one uh, chromosome, sister chroma, uh, chromatid would be pulled to the left side, one to the right side. Uh, same thing here. But here we have three chromosomes. So what's going on here? 
there is a 50% probability that one chromosome would be pulled on the right side or maybe two chromosomes or same 50% chances that one chromosome would be pulled on the left side or two chromosomes would be pulled on the left side and one on the right. So each side has 50% um, probability uh, be normal to have 23 um, chromosomes and 50% to have 24 chromosomes and same uh, for the right side 50% probability to have uh, 23 chromosomes and 50% probability to have uh, 24 chromosomes so what it, does it mean that for example if this is going to be a sperm cell format we have 50% of the uh, sperm with normal number of the chromosomes 23 and 50% with the um, chromosome number 24 so let me clean some space here and uh, now we can uh, build a Punnett square and here would be a male on this side and here would be female on this side and um, as I said we have 50% uh, probability for the um, sperm have 23 chromosomes and 50% probability have 24 chromosomes and for the normal female we have 23 chromosomes and 23 chromosomes so now we can build Punnett square and what we're going to have here would be um, in this square 23 from the mother and uh, 23 from the father side here we have uh, 23 from the mother side and 24 from the father side 23 from the mother side 23 from the father side 23 from the mother side and 24 from the father side so as you see we have 50% um, of the uh, format um, zygote and zygote this is a, a sperm that fertilize an egg so here we have 50% uh, uh, future uh, progeny that would have uh, abnormal number of chromosome that is uh, 47 and 50% uh, would have a uh, normal uh, uh, number of chromosomes that is 46 23 pairs all together um, 46 that is normal number so uh, this is the answer for the uh, first question and um, this is uh, not gender specific, it's not um, uh, X linked uh, uh, or uh, sex linked uh, trait. So there is also 50% that uh, uh, chances that this is going to be male or female who would inherit this genetic uh, disorder. And on the next slide, I will uh, uh, explain one more. Um, uh, problem and probably you now would be able to solve it on your own so here is a second problem uh, could a couple with down syndrome have a, a normal child if yes what is the probability and uh, as we already uh, solved our previous problem and found that uh, there is 50 percent of the chances for the uh, sperm of the father to have to be um, to have a normal number of chromosomes like 23 and 50 percent of the chances to have 24 chromosomes so um, the same also apply uh, to the um, mother that uh, 
would have uh, 50% of uh, chances that uh, it has normal egg with normal number of chromosomes and 50% chance that a number would be 24. So uh, what we have here, uh, we just have to fill this square. And here we have 23 uh, from the mother side and 23 from the father side. So normal number 46. And here we have 23 from the mother side and 24 from the father side. Down syndrome. And here we have 24 from the mother side and 23 from the father side, that is also Down syndrome, 47 uh, chromosomes. And uh, here we have 24 from the mother side and 24 from the father side. And that means that such a child uh, wouldn't be born at the first place because uh, 48 uh, chromosomes uh, would mean that such a uh, uh, child wouldn't be able to develop on the first place because uh, damage uh, to the development would be too severe. So uh, what we end up would be two babies that would have a, a Down syndrome and one normal baby with normal number of chromosomes. So we have one normal to two children that have uh, would have uh, Down syndrome. And uh, we have to eliminate uh, this. So uh, I would also want to say that uh, nowadays there is uh, certain procedures to find out if a pregnant woman have a, a baby with Down syndrome, for example, such procedures like amniocentesis, when a sample of the cells of the uh, placenta or um, fluid uh, taken uh, that surrounds the baby and uh, such fluid has uh, uh, cells that is shedded from the uh, baby and uh, these cells can be analyzed for the abnormalities uh, for the triploidy of the chromosome trisomy of the chromosome number 21 and uh, in United States uh, about 92 percent of such pregnancies when uh, uh, Down syndrome is found uh, are stopped and um, interrupted such preg pregnancy and uh, there is also such procedures like uh, ultrasound when uh, ultrasound picture also can be analyzed and uh, these two procedures together would give us uh, about almost 100% uh, ensure we can be ensure that a child would whether have or not have uh, such syndrome. So this um, number that we got here is purely statistical, mathematical number, but in reality we have method to analyze uh, and career type uh, future baby and uh, decision can be made ahead of time whether to stop such pregnancy or not. So this is um, all for today. If you like my video, thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to my video. I am trying to post new videos every week. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.